In the name of Jesus. I believe on Jesus Christ. He is my Lord. He is my Master. I've given Him my life and my heart. I give Him my mind and I renew my mind to the Word of God. His Word dwells in me richly in all wisdom. I have been given the Spirit of Wisdom and Revelation in the knowledge of Him in Him is hid all the wisdom of the ages and in Him I abide I dwell I dwell in Him and He in me I dwell in Him He is in the Father I am in the Father the Father is in Him and the Father is in me the Holy Spirit fills me completely to overflowing I am baptized in the Spirit immersed influenced controlled and in the name of Jesus the Holy Spirit leads and guides me into all truth truth that I walk in holding forth the word of life lights in darkness lights to this world the light of the world is in me and I am the light of the world my light will shine and by my light I will glorify God my works will glorify God my words will glorify God my thoughts will glorify God I bring every thought into captivity and I allow no thoughts contrary to the word and knowledge of God I am healed by His stripes I am healthy by His stripes I walk in divine health and I bring divine healing I preach the gospel I proclaim liberty to the captives I set them free I don't judge I don't decide I don't qualify people I set them free so that the goodness of God can draw them to repentance they repent meaning they change their mind concerning sin concerning the world and even concerning God they change their mind because God gives me wisdom against which no man can gainsay God gives me wisdom to win any person I speak to I walk in the power of Jesus Christ I walk in the power that God has poured through him the power of Jesus Christ is the power I walk in it's his power the authority I walk in is Jesus' authority it's not mine it's not based on my works it's not based on my name it's based on the name of Jesus I walk in power I walk in authority I walk in ability the very ability of God himself I am filled with all the fullness of God because I have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost abiding in me dwelling in me they don't come and go 
they dwell. They dwell. And, I dwell in them. and I dwell in them. I love all men. I love God with all my heart, all my soul, and all my strength. And I love men as I love myself. And I treat others the way I want to be treated. Therefore, I walk in the way of life. I do not walk in the way of death. My path is light. God directs my steps. As I make my plans, I expect the Holy Spirit to tell me of things to come. And that forms my plans. My plans are of God because I acknowledge Him in all my ways. I don't lean to my own understanding. I do not lean to my own strength. But I'm strengthened with Christ. And I'm strengthened with His might. And I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm always strong. I'm never weak. In the weakness of the flesh, God's strength is made strong. And therefore, acknowledging the weakness of all flesh, I lean on God's strength. And God pours through me in word, in deed, in love, in speech, in practice. I embody love. I walk in love. I do not hold anything against anyone. I believe the best about everyone. I forgive, and therefore I'm forgiven. I give mercy, and therefore I have mercy. I give freely to any person, not judging, deciding, or picking, or choosing who deserves it and who does not. Instead, I look at all men through the eyes of Christ. I see mankind the way God sees them. Through eyes of love, eyes of grace, mercy, long-suffering, I take my time to help people. I go out of my way to help people. I will give myself to God and to mankind. I am absolute master over all demonic, over all evil, forces, beings, principalities, powers, any spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. I do what is right. I have the whole armor of God. I am saved. I am filled with the Spirit of God. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. His blood makes me free. His blood makes me righteous. His sacrifice made me acceptable. And I am accepted in the Beloved. I'm accepted by God. I'm accepted by Jesus Christ. His Spirit lives in me, walks in me, talks in me. He is my God, and I am His child. I am a son manifesting the name and the glory of God to this world. I am maturing. I am not carnal. I am spiritual. I do not take offense. I refuse to take offense. 
I refuse, I refuse to, give to give unnecessary, unnecessary offense. offense. But I will not, I will not compromise, compromise the, gospel the gospel or the truth, or the truth of, the God. of the Word of God. I am teachable. I am I'm correctable. I, am correctable. I, will listen. I will listen. I will seek good counsel. I will, seek good counsel. I will listen. To spiritual, to spiritual people who have words of the Spirit, of the Spirit to, speak into my life. to speak into my life. I look forward, I look forward to, growth to growth and to any discomfort, and to any discomfort that, growth may that growth may cause. Because I know, because I know resistance, resistance provides, strength. provides strength. By the Spirit of God, Spirit of God I am healed. I'm delivered. I'm, delivered. I'm, free. I'm free. My mind, My mind is, guarded. is guarded. I take heed, I take heed. To, what I to what I hear, to who I listen to. Who I, listen to. I, take I take heed to separate myself, to separate myself. From, the from the wicked. I do not, I do not sit, sit in the seat of the scornful. In the seat of the scornful. I walk in the company of the wise. I walk in the fullness of the Spirit. And the Spirit speaks through me. My words will be the words of God. My words are Spirit and they are life. They bring life. They provide life. My words are seasoned with grace. And they bring edification to every person under the sound of my voice. I will speak that which is true. And I will speak the truth in love. I purpose myself to become love personified. I purpose myself to give ground. To give up my rights and not to enforce my rights, but to lay down my life for others. So, in the name of Jesus, I am forgiven. I have confessed any sin, and I am cleansed by the blood of Jesus, made whole. I am now righteous by the blood of Jesus. His mind, His thoughts, His objectives, and His plans are mine. I've laid down my life and taken up His. I take up His my cross every day. Every day. I take up my cross and I recognize that every day I count myself as dead and I die to the things of the world, I die to the things of the flesh, but I'm alive to God, I'm dead to sin, sin is not my friend. It is my enemy. It is not to be coddled. It is to be resisted. Even under blood. Sin is death. It is bondage. And it is not my master. And I am not its servant. But I am God's son. I am man's servant. And I am the devil's master. All power has been given unto Jesus. And therefore, since my life is hid in Christ, the authority, the power of Jesus Christ is the power and authority that I walk in. It's not my authority. It is His authority. For it is no longer I that live, but Christ who lives through me. 
and the life that I now live, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who lived and died and gave Himself for me. And this is how I know that I am born of God. I love the unlovable. I bless my enemies. I bless those that curse me. I bless those that despitefully use me. I give myself to man to be used and even abused to know the fullness of the sacrifice of Christ. That I may know Him and know and make Him known and that I may know Him in the power of His resurrection. That His power may be fully manifested through my life. Spirit, soul, and body. Complete. Christ who lives in me. He is the head. I'm His body. He gives me the thoughts. I'm His hands. I speak His words. I go where He wants me to go. I'm His feet. I'm His hands. I'm His mouth. I'm His eyes. And He walks in me. Talks in me. Talks through me. And helps me to talk to others. He provides all power. And I provide the action. I pray and receive. And His He is glorified through my receiving. And by my receiving, my joy is made full. Because I know that He hears me. And I know that if He hears me, then I have what I ask. And I have everything that I ask in the name of Jesus. Everything that I ask for, I receive. And if I receive it, I shall have it. I have it in the Spirit, and I shall have it in the physical. My prayers are answered because Jesus paid the price. My words come to pass. So right now, from this day forth, I will not say words. Either the words themselves or the manner in which they're spoken. In any way that will hurt, harm, or bring discomfort to anyone unnecessarily. I will speak the truth in love. I will bring peace. My heart is pure. My mind is renewed. My thoughts are pure. I think on things that are above. I think on things that are pure. And of good report. Things that bring joy to God. And peace to my spirit. I will be known as a person of peace. I'll be known as a person of love. But I will also be known as a person of truth and a person of power. God's power is available to me to be used when I deem fit. To be used by me according to the will of God. Which is for things to be done on earth as they are in heaven. His will is my will. 
I choose His will. I choose His way above my way. It is not my will, but His will that I will do. And I will seek to make sure that in every way, my will comes into alignment with His will. Because His Spirit, His words, His power, His mind fills me, dwells in me every day, all day. I take the opportunity to choose to turn situations into glory to God that the devil meant for bad. I refuse to be defeated. I refuse to allow the enemy to dictate my actions, my thoughts, my words, my reactions. From this day forth, the Spirit of God will flow from me. Speak His words. I will study His word. I will devour the word of God. And this word will abide in me richly, causing every situation to turn to the glory of God. I will lay down my life. I lay down my rights. And I give myself to be used for and by God in every situation. I will always put the mission first. The mission is to reach the world. The mission is to preach the gospel. With words, with words, with actions, with, actions, with, attitude, with attitude, the right attitude of God, the right attitude of God an, attitude of peace, an attitude of peace, an attitude of love, an attitude of faith. I will walk in faith. I will walk by faith and not by sight. I choose to believe the Word of God over what my eyes show me. I choose to believe the report of God over the report of man. God's Word is final authority in my life. If He said it, I believe it. It is settled. I will walk by it and I will not allow deception. I will not allow any thoughts contrary to the Word of God. I will pull down strongholds of wrong doctrine, wrong teaching, anything that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. I will pull them down and bring them to captivity. And I will let free the words of God. I will let them free through my mouth I will let them free through my mind. I will think the thoughts of God. Thoughts of good will toward all men. I will think the thoughts of God. I let the mind of Christ dwell in me. Because I have that mind. Because I am born again. I am a new creature. In Christ, In Christ, old things are passed away. All things have become new. And the all things are of God. I am of God. God is in me in fullness. He has captured me. And now I live in Him. I walk in Him. I talk in Him. Right now. 
God is with me and I am accepted by Him. Cleansed and made whole. Healed from head to toe. Healed by the stripes of Jesus. Not by the works that I performed. Not by any deed. Not even by my faith. But by the stripes of Jesus. And even when I'm unfaithful, He is faithful. Because He is greater than all. And I am born of Him. And in Him. And I'm joined to Him. And we are one spirit. We have the spirit of faith. And we speak by the Spirit of faith. We don't look at people as they are. We look at them as they should be. We look at them as they could be. And we look at them in Christ Jesus. That in Christ, they are complete. And they are whole. And that is the way we look at them. That's how we treat them. We treat them with dignity, with honor, with respect. And we choose our words so that they reflect that. That they reflect honor and respect regardless of what I see coming from them or through them. I will speak evil of no man. I will speak good. As God has spoken about us and blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. I will bless all men. I will speak well. I will speak the blessings of God. I will treat them as I would treat Christ. I will lay down my rights and I will lay down my preeminence and give it to them. I will think, I will look at their things and make sure that they are taken care of. I will not consider my things but I will consider theirs. We give and it's given to us. What we pour out is poured back in greater measure. I cannot outgive God. I can only give what I've received. And God has given me everything that I need, that I desire, that I could want. He has made provision for my needs to be met. I do not want. My wants are fulfilled. I have sought first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and I have been filled. And therefore I am righteous and I have all things. And whatever I see that I need, I simply ask. And it's given. And I expect my needs to be met through Jesus Christ. And according to His glory and the riches of His glory, He meets my needs. He is not stingy. He is not holding back. He is asking and telling and wanting me to ask. He is waiting for me to ask so that He can pour out blessing that I may receive. That I can then pass on to others less fortunate. That I can become the channel of God to the world. Healing. Blessing. Prosperity. Deliverance. All things in heaven. 
I become a conduit through which they flow. I am free and I set others free. I'm healed and I heal others. I am delivered and I deliver others. The Spirit of the living God, His nature, His character, His attributes are demonstrated through me. In every way, in every opportunity, I will turn every situation into the glory of God. Nothing can separate me from God. And therefore, I will not separate myself. I will not divide what God has joined. We are one. As He is one. We are one with Christ. We are one with God. We are one with one another. All in one. All part of the body. He's the head. And we're the body. We are the church. And it is the church's responsibility to meet the needs of the world. Every need. Regardless of what it is. And our bank account is heaven's bank account. Whatever the world could need, God has provided. I will expect and trust God to bring it through me. I expect to do the same works of Jesus. I expect to do greater works because He went to the Father. The truth of the Word of God is alive in me. I'm filled. I'm alive. His life is in me. His life flows through me to others. His life brings freedom through me. And I distribute it freely to everyone that has need. Young or old. Black or white. Male or female. There is no distinction. I bring freedom everywhere I go. In the name of Jesus. The enemy cannot stop me. I resist him. Because I have submitted myself to God. And because I have humbled myself, God will exalt me. I will look to no man to exalt me. I look to God. I lay my life down. And God has taken my life and turned it into something good. Something He can use to bring freedom to people. I bring glory to God by bringing freedom to man. In the name of Jesus, what I have spoken is true. It is true now. It will remain true. I say it and therefore I stand by it. I have spoken the truth of the Word of God. Things that are already seen, I give God glory for. Things that are not yet seen, I give God glory for. And those things that need to be brought forth in my life, I call into being. I call those things which be not as though they were. Because I speak by faith. And faith brings it to pass. And as I exert faith, I bring glory to God. I bring pleasure to God. And I get a good report. Because I walk in faith. I take the shield of faith and the darts of the enemy cannot touch me. I quench every dart 
by my faith in Christ Jesus that He said nothing shall by any means harm me. I believe Him. I am unharmable. I am protected. I am encompassed by the Spirit of God. God's angels protect me Guard me. Surround me. They protect me from my enemy. And the enemy cannot successfully form a weapon against me. Everything that rises up against me shall be cast down. Every tongue that has been formed and rises up against me shall be put to shame because I am God's child. I have what He has. It is His pleasure to give me the kingdom. And I receive that kingdom. Righteousness. Peace. Joy in the Holy Ghost. I receive it. I receive the righteousness of God. Right standing with God. Accepted by God. And I can and will come boldly to the throne of grace for help in time of need. I'm, I'm never turned away but always accepted. I live in the kingdom. I live in faith. I live in righteousness. I'm right with God. I am right in my thoughts, my actions, deeds, works, speech, in every way. My thoughts are pure. They are good. And I renew my mind to the Word of God. I am a doer of the Word. Not just a hearer, but a doer. I do what it says. And I am blessed in all my works. God's works pour through me. Life, blessing, health. Miracles, Miracles. Words, of words of wisdom, words of knowledge. Words of knowledge. I, discern I discern the spirits. I speak in other tongues. I, in other tongues. I have diversities of other tongues. I have of other tongues. God, enlarges God enlarges my tongues. And I have the interpretation of tongues. And I, have the interpretation of tongues. I will walk in the giftings. I will walk in the giftings. Because, because I will walk. In the fullness of the Spirit. In the fullness of a Son. I am in the church. I'm of the church. I am the church. And the world will see God through me. The world will know that God is in me of a truth. God, The world will know that God works through me. And they will know this because of the love that I show. Not a love that's fake. Not just Christianese. But a love that is born by the Spirit of God. One that brings truth, peace, one that brings freedom, one that brings rebuke, correction, instruction in righteousness. I will be led by the Spirit of God because I am a son. I'm not a slave. I'm a son. I am free to do the Word of God. I can do it anytime, anywhere, and I do. I am bold to speak the Word. In grocery stores, in malls, in banks, anywhere I am, 
I speak the Word of God. I'm bold. I speak up. I speak freely. I speak openly. And I display the Kingdom of God in every way. In Jesus' name. Amen.